Today we will be showing you how to install Boost Auto Parts 4th generation Ram style tow mirrors onto your 4th generation Dodge Ram truck. At the time of filming this video, this procedure applies to 2009 to 2018 Ram 1500 trucks and 2010 to 2018 Ram 25 and 3500 trucks. If you are upgrading from manual fold mirrors to power fold mirrors, please reference a separate Boost Auto Parts video. This procedure is for manual fold mirrors or power fold mirrors if equipped from the factory. For exact fitment, please visit our website at BoostAutoParts.com. Remove the six T20 screws from the door panel. When unscrewing the outer trim clip, you may want to use a pick or a flat blade screwdriver behind the head of the screw to help assist removing it. Use a pick to remove the inner trim clip. Repeat this for all six trim clips. Using a trim removal tool, pry up on the window switch to remove it from the door panel. Unplug the connector for the window switch, press down on the locking tab, and pull straight back on the connector to unplug it. Using a pick, pull out the square trim panel behind the door handle. Unscrew the Phillips head screw from behind the door handle. Slightly open the door handle and use a trim removal tool to remove the door handle trim cover. Using a trim removal tool, remove the triangle trim cover over the bolts. Pull up and out on the door panel to remove it from the door. Be aware of the door lock stem when removing. Disconnect your mirror connectors from your door module. You'll likely have a white and black connector on your mirror. While supporting the mirror, unscrew the three 10 mm nuts holding the mirror in place. Remove the mirror from the truck. You may or may not have this black metal support bracket mounted to the inside of the door. If you do not have this support bracket, most customers find they do not need it as it just adds additional support. Taking your Boost Auto Parts tow mirror, run the wiring harness through the door being careful not to pinch the wires. While supporting the mirror, screw in the three 10 mm nuts. Plug in the black and white mirror connectors into the door module. If you have purchased power folding mirrors and originally had power fold, make sure this connector stays connected. Please repeat the process for the passenger side. If you purchase signal only mirrors, you can disregard this next portion of the video showing how to run the running light wire and just reinstall your door panels. Unscrew the two T20 screws holding the door harness retaining plate to the door. Remove the door harness retaining plate from the door. Using a pick, remove the rubber boot for the connector to gain better access to the retaining clips. Pressing down on the upper retaining clips for the door jam connector, slightly pull back to disconnect it from the body of the truck. To fully remove the connector, slightly close the door. Unplug the two connectors from the connector retainer. Remove the tape on the retaining plate for the door harness. Using a trim removal tool, pry back on the tabs holding the plastic door harness retaining cover into place. Plug in the orange running light wire connector from the mirror to the orange running light wire connector on the length of orange wire. Taking the end of one of the long orange running light wires, run along the door harness wires through the plastic door harness retaining cover. Pull the harness through. Take a sturdy metal rod and run it all the way through the door jam boot, being careful not to catch any wires. Here we are using a straightened out coat hanger, but any sturdy metal rod will work. Tape the running light wire to the sturdy piece of metal that was ran through the door jam boot. Pull the sturdy metal rod and running light wire back through the rubber door harness boot. Reinstall the plastic wiring retaining cover for the wiring harness. You may re-tape this if you would like. Run the running light wire through the door jam connector retainer on the side of one of the connectors. 
pull the wire fully through. Using a trim removal tool, remove the door sill kick panel. Pass the end of the orange wire into the cab of the vehicle through the slot for the door jam connector. Reaching behind the sound deadening material, locate the opening for the door harness and grab the orange wire. Pull it through into the cab of the vehicle, making sure not to pinch the wire. Plug the door harness door jam connectors back in. Reinstall the rubber boot over the retaining connector. With the boot for the door jam connectors reinstalled, slightly close the door and reinstall the door jam connector into the cab side of the truck. Make sure that retaining clips fully engage with the cab. Line up the retaining plate for the door harness and reinstall the two T20 Torx screws back into place. The procedure for the passenger side is the same as the driver's side. We will not be showing the passenger side. You can install the mirror and route the running light wire into the cab using the same method as shown on the driver's side. Remove the two trim panels on either side of the center console in the footwell area. Taping the running light wire from the passenger side to a sturdy piece of metal, Pass it through the center console from the passenger side to the driver's side. Pull the orange running light wire through. Splice the passenger side running light wire to the driver's side running light wire. Please review the following diagram for your specific running light tap location. Earlier trucks will tap to a connector on the driver's side near the front wheel well. Later trucks will tap to the underhood fuse box. On earlier year vehicles, you may need to locate connector C322. C322 is located on the driver's side in between the wheel liner and the frame of the truck. There may be up to two connectors in this area. C322 is a black 34 pin connector. You will be tapping to pin eight on connector C322. In this case, it is a white with green wire as pointed to with a green arrow. In this picture, it is in the top row of the connector. Please go off of pin location as wire color may vary. Later year trucks will be tapped to the underhood fuse box. Please review the earlier diagram for the exact fuse location. In this video, we will be showing tapping to the underhood fuse box as this is a later year truck. With the running light wire taped to a sturdy piece of metal, pass it through this grommet in the firewall into the underhood area. Pull the running light wire through to the underhood area. Strip the end of the running light wire. Place the stripped end of the wire into the butt connector on the fuse tap and crimp the butt connector down. Remove the corresponding fuse for running light as shown earlier in this video. In this vehicle's case, we will be removing fuse number 79. Place the removed fuse into the lower slot on the fuse tab. Install the fuse tap into the fuse slot for the fuse that was removed. Reinstall the trim panels for the center console. Reinstall the door sill kick trim panel. Reinstall the door panel back onto the door. Make sure the window switch connector is pulled through its slot. Be also aware of the door lock lever position in the door. Press the door panel up against the door and slide it down to fully engage. Plug the window switch connector back in. Press the window switch back into place. Open the door handle slightly to reinstall the door handle trim cover. Screw the Phillips head screw back into place. Reinstall the square door handle trim cover over the screw. Rescrew in the six T20 Torx screws. Make sure to insert the retaining clips back into place first, then screw the Torx screws back into place. Just like that, your installation of your Boost Auto Parts 4th Generation Ram tow mirrors is now complete. To get all the parts shown in this video, please visit our website at BoostAutoParts.com. Boost Auto Parts offers a wide range of tow mirrors, parts, and accessories for trucks and SUVs. Check us out at BoostAutoParts.com.